All right, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another reaction video with your boy Money Commando. Today we got Win Kyle Save Lives last minute. Um, let's just get into it. There you go. Open your eyes. I know. I know it hurts. I know. I know, brother. I know. We're at the house. We're going to the house. Oh, All right. Yeah. Are yeah. That's the bar. You're good, buddy. Let it out. You have one in the car? Here are 10 of the most incredible times when officers swiftly rose to action and saved lives at the last moment, starting with Mesa Police. Bro, that is crazy. That nigga was under a car. Did he get ran over? I'm interested. Officers what they mean Nolan Martino last Martino and Josh Gardner, who, on 11th August 2020, rushed on scene to rescue a man pinned beneath a car. What the fuck? Do you have a jack? Do you have one in the truck? There's there's one right there. That's what broke. There's oh, one this side. It broke? Oh. How the fuck did he get under there? Yes. The police have arrived. Let's, let's, can we try to let's can we try to lift here? it up and pull him out? If we can. Let's, right here. Let's try to see if we can move it first. Oh, see if you can pull him. Pull him out. Pull him out. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Where's How the fuck it? did he get under there? That's what I'm trying to figure. Did they run this thing <laughs> over or some shit? Fire should be right up. Baker 34. We got him out. Um, okay. We still need fire though. Relax, relax, Yeah, just relax. Just relax. Just relax. How the fuck did he get under yeah. there? We, we have fire code three, right? No. No, no bleeding. No, okay. he's fine. Okay. No. What the fuck? Devin Haycock was working on his wife's car when one of the jack collapsed, sending the car body into his chest. Luckily for the couple, the officers arrived within minutes and helped Devin to get out from under the car. You want some water? You want some cold water? Bro, that fell out. So, basically, he was jacking his car. Then his whole car fell on him. That's crazy. Uh It looks like it compressed on the whole frame. Or it slid off of the frame and went up into... Oh, I was under there trying to clip in the undercarriage and it just... Kind of slipped off. Bumped it or... Whew. Oh, gosh. Don't ever use one of those again, man. <laughs> you need a jacket or something, you know, my mom's right here, I'm right here. There you go. You gotta jack it up and then put Damn. the stand <laughs> under it. I was asleep and I heard somebody call 911. I got up, I said, oh shit. That's crazy, I tried to bro. get a jack or something, but uh, the jack is screwed Good in. Good thing these officers came quick. <laughs> that bag. So I was like, he was not going to make it in time. He did not come back. Oh, is it because it's under the tire where you have to Yeah, you know, like, yeah. And it's like uh, a thread that's like 50 count long. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I've never seen nothing like that. Uh, man, I'm glad you're all right, man. <laughs> glad you're all right. Uh, you guys are fast. Yeah, he drove fast. He got here fast. I was like, this, we need to get there quick. This doesn't good sound good. Good job, man. Good job. <laughs> Thanks. I'm going back. Thanks. I think today. we needed that extra that yeah. extra help on the lift. Did you guys too? Because I'm like, I don't know how long it would take to get a jack out of our car if we even have one. Yeah, that's what we had to do, man. I mean, yeah. it would have took too long. Hey man, I'm glad you're all right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Make sure you give him some tonight. <laughs> <laughs> what? The, did he just say he make sure? Did he just tell this woman to make sure he gave him some ass to that man that just fell in the car? Get your ass back in the house. Sorry. Get your ass back in the house, bro. This is exactly why you need to use jack stands and. 
not just rely on the jack itself. Devin fortunately did not sustain any major injuries. As a parent, there can be nothing more terrifying than watching your baby choke and not know what to do. Luckily for this infant, a Georgia officer knew just what to do. Georgia police officer Nick St. Ange was at the right place at the right time when he stopped to save a two-month-old infant after she stopped breathing while drinking a bottle of milk. What the fuck? She stopped breathing? I'll be so scared, bro. Right. Hey, baby. Come on, baby. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, we're doing that also. She just had a bottle. That's all she had. 11, 10, 7, baby's uh, got the eyes open, but not uh, not crying. the camera on that baby booty like that he got the camera on that baby booty get that camera off her ass like that yeah she please eyes are open but uh i don't think ziana ziana she having a kid too child appears to be choking approximately two months old Hey, baby, she's only like a month and a half. Okay. Hey, 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 Diana. She gonna make it, y'all. She gonna be alright, y'all. She gonna be alright. Hold on, get out of here. Diana, Diana. Diana, come on, baby. Hey, baby, come on, come on, baby. Diana, come on. Breathe, come on, come on, give me a cry. Give me a cry, come on. Come on, shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna keep doing this until fire and EMS get here, okay? Oh my God. I've been, I've been, yeah, I've been trained with CPR for infants here. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, baby. Oh Give me a cry, baby. Come on. What is old bald ass gonna do? You ain't doing no damage, bro. Why is he here? He ain't gonna do nothing to help this baby. Charles back in the house. Come on. Come on. There we go. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Starting to make some sounds. That's a good sign. Come on, baby. Come on. Paramedics soon arrive on scene to help. Where? Baby, come on. Come on, Ziana. Hey. Hold on, hold on. Ziana. Ziana. Is this baby okay? This nigga's eye clapping the fuck on her back. She started to cry a little bit. Have you tried to do a finger sweep? Yeah, oh, she's I got the yeah, air moving. Yeah, she's got the air moving. There's nothing in her mouth right now. Okay. Nothing that I can so see. I've been giving her about uh, five or six back thrusts. Okay. And small compressions here. Do you all know There for we go. Yeah. Come on, baby. Do you know for sure that she did get something in she, her? The only thing she had was a bottle. I just had her. She just really? had a bottle. Oh, she there just, we go. She's, oh, yeah, she's just there we go. sweetie. <laughs> she hasn't made those sounds. Yeah, yeah, she hasn't made any not. sounds at all okay. since I got yeah. here. Yeah. How old is she? A month and a half. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, she's okay hey. now. Aww. Can you look at me? That's good. She's no, okay. She's Sorry, I'm That's get... why. Okay. Does she have any medical problems at all? No. Nothing. No. Okay. You might have got something loose in there because she was good. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're making bubbles? That's good. Is that a smile I see? It looks like it. She's like, okay, now I got some attention. Mm -hmm. 
She started making some noise right before you guys pulled up, and okay. I was like, all right, come on, keep yeah. going, keep going. So I just kept on doing the... Oh, you're doing good, yeah. Very good. Okay. Are you, what's your relationship, ma'am? Grandmother. grandmother, where's mom at? Right there. Mom? Mom, come here. Mom, come on over here. Come here. Look at her. She wants to say mama. Look. I recommend going ahead and going with the ambulance to take her to the hospital, okay? Yeah, just to make sure. You got a car seat for There's nothing more beautiful than hearing a baby cry after performing a few rounds of infant CPR. The yeah, officer did an amazing bro. job. Emotional mom was kept at a distance. Grandma remained calm. Officer did his job. Paramedics reassured mama that the baby was all right. This That's was good, an amazing bro. example of how to handle this situation. This next cop's incredible That's alertness good, may just have saved two kids from potential danger. On 10th of October, 2022, a 37-year-old man named Kevin Smith stole a truck with two young children inside fuck? it after distressed calls from a father who claimed that the truck had been stolen with his kids still inside it. Deputy Jonathan Alvarez spotted the truck minutes later in the streets of Hillsborough, Florida. What happens next is absolutely incredible. Stop the truck! Now! Oh, shit. Pull into the parking lot! After pulling over the truck, Deputy Alvarez began questioning the suspect, who played dumb when asked to step out of the vehicle. Oh, this is not your car? No, step not out of the car. Not. Step out of the car, bro. <laughs> okay. Kevin refused to step out of the truck. However, it's the courageous words spoken by one of the kids who claim that Kevin is indeed not that father that helped in capturing this suspect. You're gonna step out? Yeah, I'm gonna you. Give me the car keys. Yeah, is this? Yeah, yeah. Alright, step out of the car. No, it's not my dad. Step out of the car, bro. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> they said that's not his dad. Fortunately, oh, Kevin was arrested on scene and later charged with grand theft auto and two counts of felony kidnapping. It's scary to think what could have happened hey, to these poor children if he wasn't stopped. This next selfless officer literally risks his life to save a boy being electrocuted, showing his true dedication and care towards the citizens he's meant to protect. On 30th August 2022, a Warren police officer was on his way when he was alerted about an electrocution victim. The officer the knew fuck? he just had to save the little boy's life. Stay back, stay back, where's the wire, where's the wire? Where's the wire right there, dude, right in front of your Is that the one right in front of you? Yes, this one right here. Get it, buddy, 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 come here. Buddy, come here. Come here. Don't Who electrocuted this man? Poor kid. Right. I'm gonna, yeah. Poor kid. I gotta get him, right? I gotta get him. Poor kid. Take him. I hope he. I hope he's all right. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. What? He just got electrocuted. Why are they dropping? Watch. Yeah. 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 You there, buddy? Oh, he's still breathing. Hey, buddy. Stay there, buddy. Come on, come on. Hey, bud. Hey, buddy. Get him in a position. Hold on. He's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Just hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hey, buddy. Take the backpack off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get back. Get back. No, we're all good. Let's get him. Uh, yeah. Okay. Hey, that suspect running back eastbound. Just yeah, yeah. Hey, buddy. Do you know where you he, are? Eastbound, the two blocks up. You just saw him? Yes, he just ran eastbound, two blocks up. <laughs> Come on, bud. Wake up, bud. He's breathing. That's good. He is breathing. All right, buddy. We got one. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, bud. Okay. It's okay. Hey, bud. What's your name? Yeah. We're with you, buddy. We're with you, okay? Okay. Yeah. Blake, you know this gentleman too? Are they brothers? Everybody's radio down. Yeah. Blake Hall. D50s are ETA on fire. We need to just take them. You just want to get them out? Yeah. 
Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Well, come on, come on, come on, come on. He's breathing. Yeah. He is breathing. Yeah, bring me a car. Bring me a car real quick. Let's bring bring a car real quick because he could be. He can have to hear. Hey Blake, it's Mr. Yep. Schneider. You all right? Blake, it's Mr. Schneider. All right. Give me one more just to help. I got two. One, two, three. Motor one. Two, twelve. Which one you guys want to go? Put that on his hand. Man, that shit on his hand. Oh, no. Yeah, man. Going to Maine. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. One more. Get one more back to with him. That cop didn't take any longer than five seconds to think and decided his life was worth risking for this young boy. I got nothing but respect for this officer. Treating him like it was one of their kids, the officers good, rushed bro. the boy to the nearest hospital. Uh, That's good, bro. That's good. Go, go, go to me. Okay. Which way are they going? Let's Lane. go a mile. Take Shaner at 8 and go. Or you can go Shaner all the way to 7, then left. 7 turns into Maras. Did you say Shaner is the no severe, severe burns to his hands. Yeah, she can just go seven mile, make a left on seven. Seven goes right, turns right into Maras. Yep. Watch out for this wreck car. My bad, I was on my phone, y'all. I was looking at my analytics, but I'm glad this officer actually saved this kid's life. He changed your lives, man. Blake! Blake! You okay? Oh, he your lives. There you go. Open your eyes. I know. I know it hurts. I know. I know, brother. I know. We're at the hospital. We're going to the hospital. All right. These are good. This is all good. Good, buddy. You're a good brother. Let it out. Let it out. Detroit's gonna have his black history month. The fact that they sat with him in the back seat instead of waiting for the ambulance warms my heart. Not only did the officer rescue the boy, but also rode with him and comforted him. The officers received their much-deserved Medals of Valor for this incredible rescue. Quick reactions from officers saves lives, such as in this next incident, when this officer's quick thinking saved a fellow officer from a terrifying crash. Officer oh, Jessica McGraw was conducting an accident investigation on the southbound side of Highway 23 and was later joined by officer Officer Matthew Stewart. The two officers were talking on the side of the road next to a patrol vehicle when right. suddenly a white car on the northbound side loses control and slams into the patrol vehicle. Oh, officer shit. Stewart caught a glimpse of the vehicle coming towards them and was able to react within a moment's notice to grab his co-worker and pull her out of the path of the spinning patrol car. That is crazy. Oh shit. She would have been dead. No cap, bro. She would have flew on that grass. Talk about quick reaction hit. time. This guy's a boss. He didn't even hesitate after to secure the scene. He did it in milliseconds like Superman. This next officer just earned his officer Superman? grade points when he understood his rush and helped him out. On 30th November 2016, Officer Martin Fulchik spotted a BMW speeding down 8th Street in Wisconsin. The officer initiates a stop and finds out that the driver is a University of Wisconsin Stout student who's running late for his presentation. Hey. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. Who's gonna stop you for your speed going down 8th Street? 8th Street, uh, yeah. He yeah. turned off a 13th Ave yeah, and then I you know. went. I told you, yep, I know what you mean. I think I get a tie tied and have a presentation and thought my buddy was home, but he's not, and I'm running behind ice. Okay, so, yeah, I was wondering why you looped down yeah, 8th Street and then yeah, back up. Yeah, because that house that's one of my good friend's house and knows how to tie ties and I honestly don't know how to. Where's your tie? There it is. Oh, 
Why while I do this, why don't you grab your proof of insurance and your driver's license quick? Yep, sir. There you should be able to adjust it. Okay, thank you so much. One sixty two birds minus one point seven. Probably not the best now, but it'll work. Yeah, it'll work. A lot better than what I was gonna do, that's for <laughs> sure. Thank you so Last much. Name is For your insurance. Yep. Oh, it does have the car on there. Never mind. One of the thousands of acts of kindness that happen daily by law enforcement that go unseen and unrecognized. Not only is his tie tied, he has a reason to be late. And that one expired in oh, May, sure. so make sure you get a new one in there. Yeah, yeah I have mom and dad. Okay, yeah, I'm actually going home right after class after uh, the presentation. Hey, you're. I got a tie it shorter here. Kind of hard with all this crap on. Yeah, it's not a big deal. I can have something <laughs> in class here too. So wait, hang on, my nigga. Did this officer really take his time out of his day to teach him how to tie a tie when all these people are getting shot, all these criminals are stealing, all these kids bringing guns to school, and he's teaching this nigga how to tie a tie? How the fuck is he saving lives? Fuck out of here with this shit, bro. He ain't saving nobody lives. Yeah, I kind of thought I was going to get dinged up when you were behind me. <laughs> well, I was going to stop you sooner, but then that blazer pulled out between us. Uh, yeah, well, I thought you were going to get me there then. But... Try that. There's only a little bit of a tail there, so... Okay. Devil. No, it's almost too long, but... I'm gonna have this jacket on, so... Looks good! Thank you! Alright, man, throw it on! Yeah, we'll do it. Thank you. Not only to protect all citizens in times of danger, but the officer has shown how to protect also the feelings of others. A class act by the officer. Some officers, such as this next one, are truly a blessing or a superhero in disguise in sure. terrifying situations. On October 12th, Braden Geis's mother wait, no, wait. and father they did this on my birthday? Father frantically dialed 911 after their son day. stopped breathing and became unresponsive. The 911 operator dispatched an EMS team, but they were several minutes away. Luckily for the parents, Granbury police officer Chase Miller just happened to be scanning the EMS dispatch channel and realized he was in that location. minutes, not giving up until the boy started breathing again. When the city presented him with the life-saving award, Officer Chase once again put the spotlight back on the young boy as he presented little Brayden with several toys from Paw Patrol, the boy's favorite cartoon. Goes to show that a little kindness can go a long way. It's right. scary to find your toddler stuck in dangerous places, but first responders have always got the parents' backs, such as in this next case. On 24th August 2021, Sergeant Martinez and Officer Kyle rushed to rescue a toddler who got her head stuck in a what the fuck how did you do this shit a railing outside a home of an apartment complex the officers use a battering ram to pry open the bars on the railing to free the toddler uh, my sarge might have an idea here with that <laughs> not sure but all right lady <laughs> so we're gonna have you just keep your head real low we're gonna see if we can't get these uh, bars just to move just a little bit okay I'm gonna try to pry it. Yeah. Oh, shit. All right, Lenny. Can you move your head up just a little bit? Upwards. A little more. A little more. A little more. Up and out. There you go. There you go. Backwards. You got it. You got it. Oh, yeah. Woo. Good 
started thinking. <laughs> no, 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 no. Go ahead. Pray, referee. We got the child out. You can't survive. Okay, don't ever do it again. Yeah, don't do that dumb ass shit don't again, little girl. All right. Yeah, don't take your head through that shit. That's not no toy, my, well, my nigga. I got you a little bit of police sticker. We might have medical just look at her. Yeah. You don't need no medical to look at her. She's fine. Do you have a brother or sister? I don't have any sister. No? Okay, let me ask you something. Do you feel sick? No. You're doing okay? Yeah. yeah I think they're coming. Oh, this is heartwarming. I can't even lie. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Right. The sweetest thank you I've ever heard. Right, that, that was, was the so day sweet. Little Lenny learned that her head was indeed getting bigger. The best part <laughs> is the sergeant trying to fix the fence. <laughs> After bending it, this man wants to leave the world better than he finds yeah, it in every way. That funny, must have bro. been such a refreshing stop for those officers, having a great interaction with the community and nice words on their great work. We all know that a good neighbor is priceless, and if it hadn't been for this next victim's neighbor, these kidnappers might have gotten away with their terrible crime. Yeah. On 30th of January 2017, Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department received calls from 28-year-old Jane Preby's neighbor, who witnessed her abduction and saw her bound and being dragged out of her Las Vegas apartment by two right. suspects. The neighbor alerted the officers and followed Jane and her abductors to the van where Jane was chained up. His actions of noting down the number would eventually lead to the incredible rescue of Jane from her abductors. Hey, be here! Get on your PA! Be healed, get on your PA! Call him up! Be healed, get up! Oh shit. Passenger! Dumbass, you should never been kidnapped there, folks, you dumbass. Damn, there is a up. passenger! There is a passenger! Get out the window! You should have been messed with all those people, bro. You should have did that, my twin. Turn around, buddy. That's dumbass. Stop! Get on your knees! Keep your hands up! Put your hands behind your head and your legs with fingers. You got him. Yeah, detain him, bro. Detain his dumb ass. I got him. As the officers approach the van with caution, the victim can be heard calling out for help. Luckily for her, help was just on the other side of the door. Hey, watch your crossfire! Is there anyone else in there? Yes, there's one person. Watch it, there's movement! Don't move! Don't you move! Yes, Stay down! Yes, sir. She's in there. Don't help you her. move! Help her! Make sure, yeah, go ahead and clear the rest of the car. She has no idea. Alright, why was this dumb, whoever did this, why was this dumb as even kidnap people? Like, that's the dumbest strategy you could do. You're going to easily get caught, bro, especially in this bright ass van. Personally, if I was to do a kid now, I would go black. But in a white van, too? That's notable. Okay, we're rolling to 55, 33. 55, 33. Since the wind, I was black. 
Shockingly, the officers find the victim chained by the neck in the back of the minivan. Being oh, thankful, fuck? Jane agrees to have pictures taken of the crime scene as the officers try to comfort her. Got a camera. Do you need a... Oh yeah. my god, thank you. <laughs> okay, got it? Rolling? I got it, rolling. Okay, okay, we're gonna get a chat here, okay? We're gonna get a chat here. Do you need me to say anything about what happened or anything? Don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Just hold on for now, okay? Just hold on, okay? We're gonna get some pictures and we're gonna get you out, okay? Charge, I'm gonna take some pictures. We have the evidence. He's tight chained down by the neck. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Yeah, make sure we get photographs of it. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I don't want to... And she understands what I'm going to do. Okay. Because she's cool with it. Okay. No, let's okay. Yes, let's back him up. Let's go inside. Calm down. Calm down. Give me some light. Yes, sir. some light there. We're getting you out of here, okay? For her. What's going on? She's literally chained up inside. Oh, that's crazy. Just one here. Cuff key? Plus. He said it was a key or something. I got a cuff key if you need one. Got enough light there? Get some photographs of the stuff before you take it. He has like. I got photographs of the Dude, I don't know. There's another one out there somewhere. Okay, got it. We'll take pictures of all this before we get the chains like I got pictures of her and I got pictures of the chains. Don't put your phone there. Come on. Okay. Go this way. Come on, hold that chair. Hold yeah, that. get her out of here. Okay. They don't deserve to be in this type of truck. Them niggas, whoever did this had to, he cannot get no type of ass. You're kidnapping women? You know he ain't gonna get no. Just hold on, hold on, hold on. Get the jackal, Jane couldn't believe her luck as she kept asking officers how they found her. Still shaken up, she then narrates the terrifying ordeal she's just been through. He had me earlier, and I got him to take him off. Get the cuffie for it. Looks like those are the ones here. Okay, hold this one. Yeah, bro, y'all don't do this. Please don't kidnap folks, y'all. I really don't want y'all going nowhere. Okay, I wanna work on the neck, okay? Hey Sergeant. Sergeant, why don't you walk over to the front of the unit and take all that stuff off front of the camera? I'm really Oh, okay, you got one. <coughs> 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 I'm glad they saved her, bro. No luck. He choked me Sarge. Like six times. We don't have, I don't got a key for this one, guys. Sarge, I don't got a key for the neck one. Okay. Here it is, here it is. Okay, hold on, give me time. <laughs> Why did he do that? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I was in Las Vegas. He broke into my Las Vegas apartment and stole me from my home. Las Vegas, New Mexico? Nevada. Nevada? He f it hauled ass. Do you know the guy? Yeah, he's boyfriend? my ex boyfriend. How did you know? What the fuck? They called us and told us. Who did? Also, I'm going to tell y'all this too. The people you're closest to always want to kidnap you. So be careful with your your mom, your dad, your uncle, your sister, your friend, your exes. Niggas get crazy, bro. He's up at the office trying to run him, see if we had anything on him. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Were you able to get a hold of somebody to tell him where you were at or no? no? He dragged me out of the place and I fought so fing hard because I was like, this is how you die. And I think a neighbor saw me getting dragged out. He choked me out like six times because I kept fighting so hard. Okay, did you lose consciousness when he was choking you? Yes, like six. He choked me out six times. Okay. You guys want to pull one of your units up here and put her in it? That that's all I was just going to see if that's all right with you guys. I don't know. I don't know whose it is, so. I also, I wear, I wear glasses and he like, they're f***ing wrecked on the floor of my apartment. He broke our glasses too? Yeah, I'm gonna put my unit up. I'm gonna put her in the back. Oh, 
Look. The officers immediately call That's for his EMS ex. to arrive a moment ex. later and transport Jane safely to a hospital. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, you want to have a seat in here, warm up? All right. Thank you. Yeah. Right, I got the heater cranked up too, so let me know if you need anything, okay? Okay. Oh my God. Right, I'll just step up, okay? Not trying. Let you guys hear anything. She was getting out from Las Vegas, Nevada. She was shackled inside of the vehicle. So. The abductors, later identified as 31-year-old Jack Morgan and 19-year-old Samuel Brown, were arrested and transported down to the station for processing. Jack's behavior throughout the ride is terrifying as he's seen yawning and singing hymns. Nigga is 34 doing this shit? This gives us a peek into his mindset and tells us that he isn't bothered at all by what's happening around him. It's just crazy, bro. That's it. It's just crazy. That's what it's giving. Crazy. It's giving crazy, man. I'll be standing by the first one. It's crazy. What's that? You got a favorite hymn? No, I don't. Why not? I don't know. I've never been into them. Uh, what about you? What about Amazing Grace? You like that one? I'll take it. A calm and talented voice of an evil person. There's not a hint of emotion in his eyes either, as he then asks the officer for his Bible. You can't talk about your Bible and shit, and you just kidnap somebody. That nigga weird. He is so weird, bruh. That's another verse, but I don't know. That's pretty good. Yeah, I do what I can. You, are you a Christian man? Yeah, I am. You? I am. In my uh, in my van, there's a, a Bible, a Nelson Bible, and a Baptist hymnal. Are there any chances I could get those? I'm pretty sure. It's gonna your vehicle's gonna be right off the road anyway, so let's get this one first. Worst thing about here. I'll see the, the which one? The, which Bible? The, the Nelson, but if there's two of them. There's a big one, and then there's a smaller red one. It's a smaller red one. A smaller red one? Yeah. Okay. And then the Baptist hymn. One. I'll see about getting it for you. Let me see. All right. What's going on, brother? What you up to, man? Eh, not much. You think you can squeeze on out this way? Mm. Put your yeah. feet down. I know it sounds dumb. You can get him out of this car, bro. Why are y'all still on this nigga, bro? Like... Bro, they're asking for execution, bro. Alright, y'all. I think I'm ending this reaction off. Because they ain't really talking about shit the rest of this video. But, you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know how y'all felt about this video. Um, And, yeah. I'm just going to see y'all in the next reaction.